Hello and welcome back to Iratus. Our journey continues toward the surface. <laughs> and I have a pretty crap team. Let's be honest here. My team is the worst. I used to have a good team, but I lost to the Dampier by being a noob. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it. Oh my god, another Dampier? Fuck me! How do I get Dampier? Is there like a new game plus? I don't know. I know there's like one unit that you can only unlock if you finish the game on uh, this difficulty. Okay, I, I guess we're gonna keep going then. There's not much I can do. I mean, let's go. The damp is what we're gonna leave for last. Conjurus. Conjuring is usually just making... S it might be a summoner. Okay, let's tank with this guy. I went for the skull fall, but I never have the mana to use it. So I can't say it was very successful. Yeah, especially enemy stealing my mana. Yeah, we're definitely not hitting her. Wait, what? She's weaker than the other one? Seems like she's weaker. Can go... For six mana we can proc a spell shield. Okay, I guess we're gonna hit the thief. Well, it has extra evasion, but not as much as the rogue. Oh, it has magic armor as well. God damn it. We can uh, pull the spell thief into the front. Although I kind of like the conjurers there. Okay, let's boost the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight can go for this dumbass attack, but no, we can't. Because the Graceful is repost, uh, so we would get completely murdered. Uh, okay, let's go for a regular attack. We cannot do the Rose for the Lady. We can set this guy on fire again. Have a warm end, I'm doing Flaming Skull friend. on the Conjurers. Just so... Uh, we can eventually... Use magic on her. There you go, big guy. You got this. Uh, we cannot use AoE. Uh, let's just kill this spell thief. If at all possible. He's dead now. So we can pull forward the Conjurus. It has lower luck. Have a warm end, my friend. Uh, still pull her forward. Oh no, that... Wow, what the fuck? The fuck is this? At the beginning of next turn, moves to a new position. Okay, uh, let's go for a big heal. Oh no. Deals 27 average damage to a random minion if an ally is missed. The effect doesn't dispel. So we gotta make sure that we don't miss any attacks here. Or we're gonna get punished. Fuck. Bride of Ariatus. Holy shit. And she used, she's supposed to be my uh, way to 
counter the stance, so I don't know how we're gonna do it. Um, well, I can... Scream, kinda. That's pretty brutal magic damage. Uh, I can do a bone spear. No, not bone spear. Do I not have the mana? Oh, it's Hail of Teeth. Just to remove. No sun up in the sky. Oh my god, look at that. Bony she has a uh, 60 magic armor. Boosted three times. I just got to take her out. What the fuck? Yeah. Zombie, you're kind of fucked, I have to say. R removes all resistances and armor. That's for only from allies. Ah, this looks pretty game over. Well, at least for the these guys. Hex beam. He actually removes the debuffs from himself, which is actually nice. Although, he doesn't gain health because I I built him in a different way now. That could be considered just straight up worse. But I didn't have much choice. I couldn't really utilize the, the stress. He was dealing. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? So this guy's gonna hit me. The zombie... ...will probably die, no matter what I do. I have a chance to kill the Conjurus now. This deals physical damage and we deal... ...like, at least 20 damage. And this deals at least 10 damage. So, in order to kill the Conjurers for sure, we will need to do our uh, Hails. No no well, I guess that works. Sky. Bony Fuck me. Me next! <laughs> oh, no. Don't be so hasty, my friend. Won't this guy run away? Actually, I don't even have mana, so even if I wanted that, it doesn't work. I kind of forgot to use a one type use uh, item just for this fight. Won't you run away? He's in the back, he's about to die. We need to swing at him. No! I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, we can just keep hitting the dump here. <laughs> Slash, chomp, crush. Oh, uh, well, I guess go for heal. <laughs> yeah, we're not hitting you. He's gonna run away, but I don't have the mana, so. I don't think the skeleton stays alive like that. Give me some health. 
Uh, well, we can't break the stance, so I'm just gonna chill. You chill, I chill. Oh, she My ran away. I'd hate to see That's fine. Using it as fertilizer. We got level four brain. Uh, obviously from our own guy <laughs> that died. I need to use these one time, uh, use items basically all the fucking time. And I need mana. I should pick up the... This. Calcination. So maybe, now we can alchemy and gain some... How do I make mana out of my... No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, how do I get rid of... How, how, how do I turn into... Turn my stuff into mana? Is it alchemy? No, these are just the parts. I don't know how you do it. To the dungeon? No. Mana? Definitely not main menu. Right? I don't know. Like, I, I went for the talent. Allows the conversion of parts and items into mana. How's, how? Is it like some special building in the graveyard? I don't think so. Skeleton needs to chill here. Uh, she can come out. We need the Dark Knight. The Dark Knights are the best. Bride of Iratuses die all the fucking time. <laughs> and uh, now we got an extra brain. Well, I don't know what to do. I mean, we can go for like a, a little bit more. A little bit better ultimate. Serve me well, my minion. <sighs> but it's like, okay, sure. We got a level one Dark Knight. I don't know. Like, what am I supposed to put in here? I can create. The Headhunter dies easily. Lich, mummy, rate. Wait, what happened to my rate? Oh, yeah, it's uh, leveling up. I have one brain that we can use, but that's not saying much. So I want the Dark Knight, I may want to buy the Viratus. I have a zombie that's leveling up. Do I want a Headhunter? Headhunter deals a lot of damage. So at least that wouldn't be a concern. Despite a lack of eyes, they know to aim for the neck. Okay, let's make him 40 IQ. <laughs> uh, brains. So, he's gonna pick up. Maybe a way to trigger damage on everybody. Abundant Harvest. We only have three upgrades here. So, gotta make it count. I think the dual cruelty is, is super important because we get Serve accuracy. Well, my Bonded harvest. Uh, pretty important. We deal a crap ton of damage to everybody and also a good way to... Uh, a good way to just uh, remove some blocks. Headhunter. So we have the option to... Get rid of all the blocks or wards, but like getting get, getting rid of all the resistance does seem so much better. Jagged hook. I think we're gonna get rid of all the resistance, if possible. 
This makes him slide back, this makes him slide forward, and this can be just used from the forward position. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. So we got a headhunter, and what the fuck else? I can use a banshee maybe, but we need to use a, like an absorb terror uh, banshee that just stuns people, I guess. I like this. The Dark Knight slides in. Headhunter just ticking ground in the back. Actually, it's gonna mess up with the uh, mess with the Bride of Iratus. But maybe that's fine. Bride of Iratus just needs to stay in the back. Although the headhunter is not exactly so much better. Although I managed to make him have six armor? He starts with four armor, and I managed to give him two more armor. So I should just go for this upgrade, even though, actually that's the better upgrade, <laughs> because make the target lose all evasion for the end of the battle, that's really good, and we get two more armor for that, of course he's not as good as the vampire, but uh, I mean, maybe we won't die instantly. Increase the physical damage by 10%. Accuracy by 8%. Let's fucking do it. Some upgrades here. So I can refill my mana to max. Or just heal up a minion. Let's refill my mana to max. And next time, we got two maybe spell, spell thieves. One druid maybe? Unclear. One well, for sure, I should definitely use a one-time use item and possibly even consider changing what I got. Every time I use a destruction spell, we deal 15 extra physical damage. Really good. That's not good. That, well, that might be okay if I'm using stress and everything I use just deals stress damage, but this seems better. Although, yeah, random enemy. All enemies lose one block, okay. They may not have block. Each enemy that's fled? I mean, uh, I don't think so. What have we got here? Consumables. Iratus recovers 8 mana each turn. At the beginning of battle, Iratus gains uh, 45 uh, rats. 8 mana each turn. Non-consumable artifact. I mean, that's nice. They lose HP. But what we should probably go with is a mana crystal. It embellishes my undead features, no? At the start of combat, deal 25 stress damage to all enemies, ignores ward, one time use. Okay. So, we go and hit the elite squad with our not quite elite squad. But this is as uh, good as it gets. So, we got a uh, elite barbarian, elite shield maiden, and two elite spell thieves. And we're gonna start by a skull fall onto Say everybody. To my burning friend. I didn't get stunned. Oh, actually, we have a chance to stun them when I use a use a destruction spell. And it was it was a free destruction spell, so that's a that's a good use. Okay. The problem with the hitting everyone approach is that some of them are pretty resistant. Okay. Let's make her lose everything. Hopefully the, the block will not... Or I, I, the block doesn't prevent it from being useful. Everybody's on fire. I like that. We can go for a stun. Although I think we need to proc the magic shield. Is this good enough? 32 damage on everybody. I mean, that seems pretty good. Actually, not even... No, no. They, their, their armor definitely mitigates it. Okay, let's make them deal less damage. It's a good stress 
slash debuff. Crescendo is a good skill, although it's not good enough. He got rid of Ward. He blocked it. Oh man. That's not great. Alright, you marked. True fall. They're taking a crap ton of damage because of that. Mocking slap, but that's uh that's physical damage, so pretty bad on the barbarian. It's decent on their spell teeth. Fate within flames. I guess I can hit the shield maiden or maybe go for some mana. But I think that's maybe being greedy because the banshee will get hit. No? Although it seems like if they can hit the first position that they can hit the second position as well. So they're basically in the same scenario. Oh, elite spell thief is stunned. I just gotta take out the guys in the back. Okay, tankiness is pretty useful. Go for a stun. We just need accuracy for it. Okay. He lost... Everything. Two? Uh, wow. 31 damage, so this one is dead. This one is not dead. Not quite. But we can do a harvest. And actually... That doesn't work. It's not guaranteed to kill him. This is a 12 damage. This is guaranteed to kill him. No, it's not. Because he has magic armor. We would need to do something uh, physical here. Hail of Thief. There's no sun up in the sky. Okay. Let's remove the armor. Uh, let's get mana. Slide back. Uh, and set the shield maiden on fire. This never gets Won't old. they try to run away? Okay, she's very much in the front now. Removes all buffs from the target. Let's try to scare the barbarian. Oh no! They switched locations, fuck me! Okay, there's a chance that the elite shield maiden will run away now. Apparently it has no chance of that happening, but I'm hopeful. Oh, let's stun them, right? Don't you want to run away? Not, not because they're elites, I think. They're running away. Last chance. I want you to run away so you can become a vampire. Okay. That was a pretty good fight. Epic weapon. Philosopher's Stone. Sure. Banshee was good. Wow, that's what I wanted to see for a long time now. Banshee's level 6. I don't know. So they need to stay in for two more rounds. Didn't I find a brain? Brain? I found a level... 5 brain, which is really good. What else I got? Uh, what legendary quality stuff I got? It's block and ward and accuracy. 
Wow. That would be good on something that uh, really, really doesn't like to get hit. No. Dread, Evasion and Luck. Now this would be okay on the Banshee, because we need Dread. <laughs> oh man. Uh, it's kind of tricky. Block. What, what do I have as blue? One resistance. That's just uh, magic armor. Accuracy. I mean, accuracy is pretty good. Vigor initiative, dread initiative, armor, evasion. And evasion initiative. What do I have as yellow? One or attack. That's actually like a pretty okay upgrade. Resistance and accuracy. We don't really need accuracy that much with the Bride of Iratus. This Bride of Iratus can actually stay back at home to very safely go to level 6. This Banshee. Okay, we take this out. Do I just level up another Dark Knight? Because they seem to be my main tanks. And I wouldn't mind to just... Do I... No, no, no. I, I, I don't think that's a sensible option. We need some... We need some backliner here. But what do I choose? The mummy is not a backliner. I think that the mummy is positioned too. Mummy. He, he can do the cursing touch. Maybe even consider position one, but no, he's not position one. He can gain a block here, and he can gain a magic armor over here. So I, I think these are pretty okay. We can just make the mummy like a tanky stressor. Lich is... Lich is considered like a position uh, 5, and it, Lich is pretty okay, I have to say. Lich is decent. It's not as good. It's not as good as like uh, a vampire. Should I just go with another headhunter? <laughs> oh man. Headhunters are pretty okay. At least when it comes to damage. So damage will not be a problem. If we just want damage, headhunter is the is the guy. I don't know if we wanna pick that. Maybe someone else should uh, take it. Right, well two vigor is fine, I guess. Let's make a headhunter. Make him smart. Headhunter. Time to get smart. Let's get 50 IQ. Which actually makes him level 5. So we have access to an ultimate. So what the headhunter needs the most? We have access... We need access to Abundant Harvest, I think. Deals. Nah, that's crap. We need access to Abundant Harvest. We need access to Dual Cruelty, now, just for accuracy. Worthy of my investment. Four luck is a little pointless. We gain one block, which is actually quite good. No. No, ignores block. We, we gain one armor. Uh, I don't care too much about the hook. I don't care much about that either. We have two points. To spend. I think we're gonna go with Sundering Rat. And ignores block. If attack kills an enemy, Iratus gains two additional common parts after the victory. I mean that's a little bit of a win more situation here. But it's not bad, you know? It's it's 55 average damage. But do you really wanna spend 40 extra rat for that? It's not bad. But only if it kills the enemy. And it's a pretty high range attack. So in order to gain the parts after the after battle, you almost have to aim for you basically have to aim for the minimal damage. Which the and the minimum damage is actually just kind of worse than most of the basic attacks we got. But we also have Abyssal Bounty, which kills any enemy and ignores block. 
just kills any enemy. It costs uh, 100 rat, but killing any enemy? What the fuck? We have to go for that. So we got a bounty hunter here. Hat hunter. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Dungeon. Oh, actually... Yeah, that's that's a decent lineup. I can't really change it. We want to take Dark Knight for the big boss fight. And there's just no point to take him because he's level 7 already. So I just want to level up other, other guys if possible. Maybe before we head out, I'll take a break. And, well, we're getting close. We're getting close to finishing the Mercenary Barracks. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.